Hello, I'm Tom Main, I'm a principal of Warpuses Architects in Los Angeles. As an architect, you move back and forth from being a pragmatist to living in your brain and producing things that couldn't possibly be built, and you just keep moving left and right brain. It's called being an architect. When we started SEARC, it was 1972. The mission was to kind of reinvigorate architectural education and definitely pursuing innovation and rethinking of the role of architecture in society. I'm already part of a hundred year history of this conversation with sustainability. If we're doing our job right, the whole notion of sustainability as an idea that now plays a much larger role in how we form a building. What are architects' responsibilities today on multiple levels? Broad notions of, 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 of how we use our resources and the effect of those resources on society at both a local level of the city and a global level. There should be some way of appreciating performance that if it's really operating in an interesting way, you rethink aesthetics. And it seems like there should be more conversation. It does all of these things well, so check. This is a building that, that represents a um, kind of an ethics of how we build today regarding these issues. But it does go back to perception. Architects, engineers, whatever our industry represents, seems to be, need a bigger voice. We need our own lobby to whisper in some people's ears that, look, this, there's actually solutions to these problems and that have huge economic, social, cultural, political consequences. It's definitely, without any question, moving towards an interest in sustainability. When we became aware of the Val Cucina people, it's an absolutely perfect kind of an idea because of the efficiency of the way they set it up by the layering it with this back wall. I was completely blown away by the idea of this second layer going, it's so obvious, why didn't everybody think of this? 